Indian forces are still trying to regain control of Mumbai, two days after terrorists carried out a chain of shootings. What appears to be the last battleground is the luxury Taj Mahal Hotel, where authorities are firing grenades at what are believed to be one or two holdouts said to be Muslim militants. This effort comes just hours after forces ended a siege at another five-star hotel. Friday, commandos stormed the Mumbai headquarters of an ultra-Orthodox Jewish group and discovered the bodies of six hostages inside. More than 150 people, including 15 foreigners, have been killed since Wednesday. According to a top state official, several gunmen have been killed and at least one is in police custody. Meanwhile, India's foreign minister says groups based in Pakistan are behind the Mumbai terror attacks, but he won't go into details. Pakistan has nothing to do with this incident. Pakistan has no link with this act. We condemn it and we condemn it. The whole nation condemns it. India has been shaken repeatedly by terror attacks blamed on Muslim militants in recent years. Most were bombings centered on crowded places like markets and street corners. This latest round of attacks was more sophisticated. There were coordinated attacks at 10 different locations, including a train station, hotels and a restaurant over a two-hour period. Carlotta Bradley, The Associated Press.